Shi. I'm back today with another video. So I am literally standing in my bathroom right now. I have a tiny house. It's only a thousand thirty square feet, two bedrooms, one bathroom. Okay, so I had to make my bathroom not only beautiful but also functional. So today I wanted to just give you guys an updated tour. I went out to. Burlington and then Home Goods. I picked up some amazing things and I can't wait to show you how I redid my bathroom. So bear with me, this space is a little small. If you like my outfit and you want to pick it up for yourself, the link will be down in the description box. Start over here with the shower curtain. So what I actually did was I took two regular panel curtains and I hung them on a different curtain rod at a higher length. These were $19.99 at Burlington Coat Factory. I love them because they have like a dark gray with a metallic overlay. So it really gives my bathroom like a little sense of drama. And they are grommet panel curtains. So I pulled them to the side with just this little diamond bling wrap. And I just gathered them and literally just pulled them to the side that way. As me and Mackenzie are getting in and out of the shower, we don't really have to keep bothering those curtains. Um, the center curtain I got from Burlington as well. I absolutely love these little vintage perfume bottles. It says classy and fabulous. And that is definitely what we are. So I love the fact that it's a pattern. Like Patterns are my absolute favorite. So this shower curtain was only $11.99. It came with different... Um, hooks but I decided to keep the ones that I had on my last curtain because they're like blingy and shiny and I just absolutely adore everything that is shiny and blingy so they had to stay um but this shower curtain is super super cute I love how it's gray and white with pops of pink it just really really makes the entire look so over here I actually have like a little furry rug and what I love about this one is that it's flat enough that my door can go over it and it's not going to move. Oh, that door sounds horrible. It's not going to move because the backing on it is like a suede. So it kind of just stays in place and it's perfect. And I thought, what a fun way to bring a little bit of drama into my bathroom. So, and I put it, I accidentally put it at a kind of catacord kata core I don't know how to say that word but you know what I'm saying I put it on an angle because I thought it just looked much cuter and it like when you first walk into the bathroom it creates a little bit of like visual interest so I put it like that so um next I'll show you guys this little table I adore this table um it came from Burlington as well it was $34.99 it was actually on sale it was supposed to be $49, guys. And I was like, ain't no way. I'm going to pay $49. And then I checked the tag and it was on clearance for $34.99. I don't know what's wrong with it. It looks perfect to me. Really beautiful marble top. The table is actually pretty heavy. So I thought this would be such a cute way. Like when you're taking a bath, if you're reading a book or you have your cell phone, instead of putting it on that tiny little ledge over there, you can set it on top of the table. It's a nice addition to the bathroom when you're in a tub. It's a functional space that you can place items on. You don't have to worry about them getting water damaged. And so I just have this beautiful candle. It has this flower print on it. The scent is actually really, really nice. And I was afraid that it wasn't going to smell that great. Because when I was in the store and smelling candles, it wasn't the most potent one. So I was like, ugh. But it was so cute. I couldn't pass up on the design. And the smell of it is like, oh, it doesn't say it. Maybe it's on the top. Nope. It's not on the top either. But the fragrance is like very light and sweet. And of course, it has a little flower, so it's perfect. This actually already had in my bathroom. I believe it came from Burlington Coat Factory, too. Let me see. Look at that. Ross, $13.99. See, aren't you guys happy I don't take the price off of anything? But it's gray. It's white. It's perfect. Um, it brings some greenery into the bathroom. I don't have any windows in the bathroom, so it's absolutely perfect. I adore that. Now moving over here, I just did a simple little towel thing. I've seen a bunch of ideas on Pinterest. Um, 
and I could not find any towels with like nice prints on them so I was like you know what I'm just gonna like DIY something the gray towel was like $2.74 at Walmart this one was like $2 I think as well from Walmart and then I put like some glitter ribbon I had left over from a different project if you haven't seen my baby shower DIY video check it out these are leftover flowers from the Dollar Tree and I just thought it was a cute little thing to put on the towel rack um I don't like people to use like my decorative towels so I actually have some paper towels over here and a trash can so if you come to my house and use my bathroom don't wipe your hands on my decorative towels okay so next is this picture. When I saw this picture guys, I could not let it stay in the store. It's so glittery and so fabulous and it's the reason why I decided to redo my entire bathroom actually. So I love that um, it's stacked books. I think books are just such a cute way to decorate any space and then it has like this holographic glitter. So. I think it perfectly coordinates like with the shower curtain it adds like a lot of pop like as soon as you walk in the bathroom like it's the first thing that you see so look at that like you walk in the bathroom that's the first thing you see I just thought it was gorgeous and I had to have it so next we're gonna move over to the sink now I got this little soap pump from Burlington. I thought it was fabulous. It has like little rosettes on it and it's light pink. And it's also wet and I think that's because I overfilled it and rinsed it off. Um, so it's a little wet right now. And then over here, the uh, toothbrush holder says Paris and it has the little Eiffel towel and the rosettes as well. So. I I wanted to keep the sink pretty simple later on what I'd love to do is I would love to guys do like a vessel sink so just have like a vessel sink over here and then just have all of this as counter space because the bathroom is literally so freaking small that it just doesn't make sense to have the sink take up such a huge portion of it you know what I mean so over here I have this little painting and it says may your day be as flawless as your makeup. I don't know if you guys can see but it's like white and gray with little pops of gold. I thought it was perfect and just such a reminder to have like a nice day. You know what I mean? Not Don't let anything stress you out. Look, good, look as good and feel as good as your makeup does. And so what I did was I actually switched out these plate covers. I don't know where the screw went. But I switched these out. These were white and I switched them to like a stainless and I think they just really complete the look. And then this is my cabinet. My cabinet is just like a dark java color. It's kind of basic. Um, but yeah. So now, last but not least, down there I have like the toilet brush. It's blue because I just really didn't want to buy a new one. Um, the toilet paper rack and then I just have the bling trash can and if you want to know how to do that bling trash can for yourself I do have a video um you can check that out on YouTube so over here I have this beautiful little flower arrangement and it was $19.99 from home goods I thought it was perfect it's very sweet and feminine and then this is actually my jewelry box right now I have my jewelry Oh, it's kind of empty. I wonder where all my jewelry went. But I don't know. I think I might continue to keep my jewelry in here because usually that's the last thing I do when I'm like getting ready in the morning. So it makes sense for it to be in the bathroom. But it was just super blingy. I just absolutely had to have it. Now these shelves. Guys, you will not believe how unbelievably cheap these shelves were. I know they look classy and fabulous. I know they are gold and white and they look really expensive but guess what guys they were nice I got them from Ikea luckily Ikea just opened up in our area so me and Mackenzie went to Ikea and these little brackets were only 75 cents so I spray painted these gold they come in white and then the shelves were $2.99 each so just do the math and you'll realize how cheap these shelves were they were super super inexpensive but they look amazing and what kind are they? I didn't take the sticker off. They are the Burr Holt. 
Okay, I don't know. So all their names are like Swedish. So yeah, those are what the shelves are. So if you want to pick them up, you can get them from Ikea. Uh, this mirror I got from Home Goods, and it was $12.99. It has that little bit of bling accent. I've already had this in the bathroom. So I really enjoy um, using this to do my makeup with, especially this side. You can see all the chin hair is like perfect. So I have this sitting on the shelf and I'm happy I put these shelves up because it gave me so much more counter space. Um, I have this little canister I got from Walmart. I don't remember the price, but I need to get some more cotton balls to put inside of it. But in the bottom it has Q-tips. So it's perfect. It stacks. So you can have all of your little hygienic items in there. This is actually a DIY and I'm just going to insert a little clip of me like DIYing it so you guys can check it out. It was only $13.50 at Home Goods because the back was broken. This frame looks so freaking expensive and I love the fact that I actually printed this from the internet. So anytime I want to change the picture, I can, but I thought that was so cute. You are the bubbles to my bath. And it's blingy and looks super expensive, but it only cost me $13.50. Um, and at the top, I just stacked my extra toilet paper. I thought that was a really good way to store it. That way, if I forget to fill up that, you can always reach up and grab some extra toilet paper. And then this little green grass thing kind of floats. Like, sometimes you might see it in the living room, the kitchen. It just kind of floats wherever. But I wanted to um, do another pop of green in the bathroom. Um, so the big mirror I actually got from Burlington Coat Factory, it was like literally under $20. So I used to have like a cheapy wood mirror that matched the vanity, but I put this up a while ago and it's super big. It's perfect for selfies. It's perfect for recording. And so, yeah. Yeah. So now I'm so happy with my bathroom. The entire five years I've been living in this house, we've never really had a bathroom that I felt like was 100% completed. Like I always kind of started with the idea and didn't finish it. But I'm super happy with the way this bathroom turned out. It's not like overcrowded. It has everything that we need. It has additional space for everything. Um... I absolutely love the shower curtain. It makes me feel so pretty. And Mackenzie really, really likes all the pops of pink too. So, with that being said, please comment down below which items from this bathroom tour are your favorites. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So, I will see you guys in the next video. And I hope that you really enjoyed the way I decorated my bathroom.